Hey, what's going on? This is Earth Cat Mushrooms again. Uh, coming back with another video for you. Today, we're gonna show you how to make a grain jar vented lid with an uh, injection port, self-healing injection port. Super, super simple. Uh, this is a pint-sized jar. Um, so you can get any kind of, any jar that you want. This will work the same way for uh, what you want to do. I've got these um, micro pour lid, uh, at self adhesives, and I got these from micro pose. Uh, what essentially we're going to do is put a hole right in the middle, put one of these on, we're going to drill a hole as, for the injection port, and then we're going to use a high temp silicone, uh, to seal it. And that's, uh, what this does for you is, uh, it can withstand, um, your pressure cooker and it's self healing. So it's perfect. As far as the holes go, for the uh, the middle hole, we're gonna use a 3 8 spade bit. The spade bits are really good uh, because they don't leave a bunch of um, shards all over the place. Just pushes it right in, really nice. For the other hole, uh, which had a spade bit smaller, but I'm using a uh, 5 16 for that. So super simple, uh, drill the first hole for you. Uh, this is for the injection port. You can put it anywhere you want. A lot of people will put more than one. It's really not necessary. You can move the needle around as you want to. Uh, just do one, save yourself some work some, and some uh, equipment here. So drill the first hole, goes right through it. That's all there is to that. Change your bit out. We're gonna go to the, the 3 8 spade bit. And this one's gonna go right in the middle. It usually goes through real easy. Now all your, make sure you clean the little top off, that way you don't have any, uh, anything for this, the uh, adhesive to stick to. And make sure you take the metal shards out of here when you're done. Definitely want to put those in your mushrooms. You'll take your self-adhesive, this has basically has 3M sticky on the back, just like our on our monotubs had. This is just a smaller version of that. Peel one of these off, and you'll put it right on there. The 3 8 bit is perfect size for this. So you can see that's perfect sticks. These will last a long time. Um, as far as changing them out goes. Uh, once they get kind of dirty, I, I never had one that has lost its stickiness, but once they, they will get uh, quite a bit dirty after some time, and um, so I'll change them out uh, every once in a while. Just use your discretion for that. As far as the, the other hole here, that's your injection port. We're going to use this high temp silicone sealant, and uh, this is super easy too. All you do is just take it, line it up, and just put a little dot there. And that is it. Sometimes if you're not lined up right, you can kind of move it with your finger a little bit and squish it in there, and that's perfect. So it's that easy. So you have um, your injection port. This is gonna take 24 hours to, to cure, so don't use it until, until the next day. Uh, this is good right away. Uh, again, make sure you if you have anything in the jar, clean that out. You can see the shards in there. And then as far as the top goes, um, sometimes there'll be a shard from the regular drill bit. What I'll do for that generally is take a, um, uh, a pair of uh, wire cutters and cut anything off there. Um, the spade bit does a really good job of just knocking it straight through. So that's really it, nothing much to it. If you found this helpful, leave us a like. If you have any questions, Definitely leave us a comment, but we'll see you in the next video. You have a good one.